Concentrate. All right, guys. And here's the recipe for the creamy chicken and wild rice soup. Ingredients. Two tablespoons of real butter. Best if made from your own milk, from your own dairy goats or cow. Who's, uh, who's, who's asking? Two cups of carrot, chopped, grown from your own garden. One cup of celery, chopped, grown from your own garden. Two cups of leeks, white parts or two large onions, sliced, grown from your own garden. Sea salt and freshly ground pepper. Life is good. Redmond's real salt is best. One half cup of organic wild rice. Four cups of chicken stock, preferably homemade, is much healthier. One teaspoon of dried rosemary, one teaspoon of dried thyme, and one teaspoon of celery seed, two bay leaves, best if they're all homegrown. Two chicken breasts, about 12 ounces, cut into small cubes, and that's even better if you raise your own meat chickens and process them. Zest of one lemon, organic. Three tablespoons of freshly squeezed lemon juice would be absolutely the best. One cup of fresh milk, fresh whole milk. Or I would use mm -hmm. almond milk. My parents were at a you know, Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, two it's cups of whipping cream or light so cream. So best if it's made from your own fresh milk from your dairy goats or cow. If you need to thicken it, use one half cup of real, one quarter cup of real butter and one quarter cup of organic whole grain flour. All right. Yields eight servings. Prep time is 20 minutes. Cook time is 50 minutes. Total time is one hour and 10 minutes. Okay. Instructions. In a large pot, cook carrot, celery, and leeks or onion in the melted butter over medium heat until vegetables are tender. Cooking the vegetables first before adding the stock adds a lot of flavor. Season with salt, with sea salt and freshly ground pepper. Add the wild rice, chicken stock, rosemary, thyme, celery, seed, and bay leaves. Raise the heat slightly to allow soup to simmer, covered for 20 minutes. Add chicken pieces and simmer for approximately 20 minutes more until chicken is cooked and rice is tender. To finish the soup, add the zest of one lemon and lemon juice, whole milk, and cream. Season with more sea salt, Redmond's real salt, and freshly ground pepper to taste. To thicken the soup, melt one quarter cup of real butter in a separate small pot and whisk one quarter cup of organic whole grain flour, iron corn flour will be really good, into it to stir for a minute or two. Add this flour and butter paste to the soup to thick it. Repeat if you like your soup extra thick. Bring the soup back up to temperature and serve with fresh thyme sprinkled on top. Best of it's grown in your own garden. Unfortunately, the soup doesn't freeze well because it contains cream and rice. The cream may curdle and the rice can get mushy. Notes. When you've had your fill, place the leftovers in an airtight container in the fridge for up to two days. I highly recommend using homemade bone broth for superior flavor and nutrition. The longer the soup sits, the more the flavors develop. So if you're able to make it earlier in the day and have it sit for several hours in the fridge, before reheating, it really enhances the lemon flavor. Okay, and that was it for the creamy chicken and wild rice soup recipe. And there it is. And I will get this up there and I will move on to the next one probably tomorrow. I only have some one, two. Three left. Three, no, four, five. I only have five more before we're done with the book. So I will go ahead and get this up there, and I will see you guys tomorrow on the next video. And you guys all have a good night. Check your subscriptions. Make sure you're still subscribed. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. Hit the notification bell and click on all. Because I will catch up with myself and make sure that I've 
you know, upload a lot just like today. So I will see you guys in the next video. Check your subscriptions. Make sure you're subscribed. And I will see you. Do your research, guys. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye, guys. Yeah, mostly away from you.